Hey, this is Dave at House Barons. Uh, living in suburbia comes with uh, some pluses and minuses. One of the catch-22s is having an HOA. And so today, out of this old pallet and some other wood, we're going to find a way to hide our trash cans. Having my trash cans over here is legal. Having my trash cans here by the store is illegal because they can be, in theory, seen from the road. And this is directly from the road. Now, it just so happens that we have those bushes there that does hide them well, but had those bushes not been there, still visible. But again, it's about abiding by the letter of the law. So we could have a fence, but the fence has to get HOA approval. So I'm just gonna build the disguise and speed things up. Another reason I hate putting my trash cans here is because it kills the grass. It's gonna turn into a muddy mess through winter, so that's what I'm trying to avoid. What I have here is a few cedar fence panels. I think 45 inches is the height of my trash can, so we'll do 48, so we'll do four feet. All right, so these are at 30. Ideally, I want to be at like 32, but these boards that I had are just going to be too short. So I found another bit of scrap wood, and these are 30, so these will work. Not quite square, so let's square it up. Fifty-five and a half. Fifty-six and a half. If I go from either corner and I get the same measurement, if the boards are all the same length, then it'll be square. That's 56 and a quarter. Fifty-six and that's a quarter. Fifty-six and a quarter. Fifty-six and a quarter. Okay, so those outside boards are straight. So we just need to make sure that the rest of these guys are in line with this one and this one. I started using these uh, more pine boards to support the back of this, but it wasn't holding up very well. So I went and used the cutoffs from the cedar panels. Once, once we got everything squared up, you know, with the, the tape measure in both directions, I resupported the back with these cedar panel cutoffs, added that uh, scrap piece, basically a two by four, and then screwed these cutoffs in as hooks to go into each handle space. And I'll show you how it works in just a second. And I've got these pieces here, but it turns out they interfere a little bit. These were to support this two by four here. These kind of interfere, so I'm gonna pop those out. They're just snugged in there. And I'm gonna only put one of them in. All right, so I'm gonna take out that little support, the little support piece. It's just anchored in right there. I'll slide it out. Same with the other one. Slide it out. And now we can go ahead and just put one of these in. I think one will be enough. I'm just gonna snug it in there now. We'll anchor it once we know it all fits. And there you can see the, 
the hook itself as it would grab onto the trash can. All right, so all you gotta do, all we do is take this and put it over the handle edge, and there we go. Looks like it works out pretty well. All right, so that's how it's shaped there in the back. It goes in those two handle holes of the trash can. And then the, what amounts to basically as a hook just comes through there on the bottom. And I had to take those supports out because they were interfering with the hinge of the trash can itself right there. So when I remove that, now there's now there's play, and that helps it helps it goes on better, and yeah, I can still lift the lid open. So another thing you could do on this is if you didn't like the fence look, you could do this horizontal, or it would work for a bunch of things to hang something here, uh, be it a mock fence, be it plants, whatever it might be, and just to kind of decorate things up and at least make it so the HOA is not not so disappointed in, in the looks of things. Hope this video helps. Got anything out of it? Give us a thumbs up. We appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We've always got more videos coming, so we'd like you to see them all. Hit that bell. And again, thank you so much for watching. See you next time.